question 1. The estimated difference between two numbers is 60. Find the two numbers that, when rounded to the nearest 10, have a difference of 60. So what we're going to do is to round the numbers up to 10. So 135 to the nearest 10 will be 140. 128 to the nearest 10 will be 130. And we're doing the same for the rest of the numbers. We scan through the numbers, and then we realize that the difference between 130 and 70 is 60 which is what we want. So the numbers would have to be 128 and 74. Next, question two. When a three-digit number is divided by a one-digit number, the estimated quotient is 50. So we can actually use 249 divided by 5 because when you round to the nearest 10, it will give us 250 divided by 5, which is 50. Question 3. A given number is a multiple of 4. It is between 6 and 15. It is a factor of 16. What is the number? So we are going to do multiples of 4. Multiples of 4 will be 4, 8, 12, 16. It has to be between 6 and 15, so we are left with just 8 and 12. And between 8 and 12, 8 is a factor of 16. So 8 is the answer. Question 4. When a three-digit number is rounded to the nearest 10 or nearest 100, the answer is the same. So one possible number could be 295. Question 5. How many bagels did store B sell on the seventh day? So before we get to this answer, we have to first fill in the boxes. So for store A, there's a pattern to it, and they're all multiples of 3. And for store B, they're all multiples of 4. So we're going to look at the answer for question part A. For question part A, how many bagels did store B sell on the seventh day? On the seventh day, for store B, it has to be 28. The two stores sold the same number of bagels on different days. Which were the days? So it would be... 12, that's the same number of bagels. And for store A, it will be the fourth day. And for store B, it will be the third day. Question 1. We're using guess and check. So Mr. Chan bought some pencils for a group of students. If he gives two pencils each, he will have 10 pencils left. If he gives three pencils each, he will have none left. So how many students are in a group? So we're guessing that there are 10 students and there are 30 pencils. So let's see whether that's correct. So we're gonna do guess and check. So number of students, 10. So if he gives two pencils each, so 10 students times two, there will be 20 pencils, and he has, and there will be 10 pencils left, which is correct. If he gives them each three pencils, so 10 students times 3 pencils, there will be 30 pencils, and there will be none left over. So this is correct. Question 2. On the opening day on a, at a toy store, every third customer gets a ball, and every fourth student customer gets a stuffed top animal. So 60 people came to the store. So how many get both a ball and a stuffed animal? So we're trying to find numbers that appear twice, in the multiplication table of 3 and 4. And how many times does it happen? So if we are doing the multiplication tables for 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, that's for multiplication table of 3. And same thing, multiplication table for 4. If we scan through numbers, we realize that 12 appears in both Multiplication th tables for 3 and 4, same for 24, and same for 36. So there's a pattern to it. So it's 12, and then we're adding 12 more, it's 24, and we add 12 more, is 36. So if you continue to add 12 more, you'll be 48, and 12 more, you'll be 60. So the answer would be 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. Question 3. A square table can seat four people. So this is a square table, and it can seat four people. 
one, two, three, four. So in this case, if we have two tables and they are arranged this way, it can, we can set one, two, three, four, five, six people. If we want to six, if we want to sit 26 people, how many tables should we have? So in this case, we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So let's check how many table, how many people can we sit? So we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 on the top, 12 at the bottom, that's 24 and 25 and 26. So we need 12 tables to sit 26 people.